How you doing? How you doing? And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Patty. First off, I appreciate you stopping by today, boo. Um, and we're here to talk about V4. So this is going to be kind of like a new player's tips, like, you know, baby beginner guide kind of deal. Um, this is not going to be the penultimate or the number one, like, guide for new players. We're like three days into this game, so I would be insane to think that I was qualified to make that video yet. Um, but I have been enjoying the game, so I kind of wanted to make some, you know, tips for new players, talk about some of the systems in the game. Um, because if you're either, you know, new to mobile MMOs um, or have only played one or two before, the way that they all typically work is the game is pretty auto, like, until about level 50, 60. Um, most of the games use that time to, you know, initially the, like, tutorial tutorial. They're introducing you to a couple of buttons, they're giving you the world, a little bit of the story, and then as you progress through the next, you know, 30 to 40 levels, depending on when that baby tutorial starts, the rest of the tutorial is now basically happening. Um, because there's so many systems in these games, they have to spread out the time that they introduce those to you. So that ends up with a lot of really early on autoplay, um, <clears throat> and it, you know... If you're not familiar with that system, that can be a little bit of a turnoff. But there is a lot of stuff to keep track of. They have a lot of systems that um, more or less... <sighs> there's a lot more kind of developing your character and gameplay. Um, at least in like... So my personal experience is playing a lot of Dragon Raja. I used to make a lot of Dragon Raja content um, when that game first came out. And essentially, you know, that... <clears throat> has a lot more social and cosmetic stuff built into the game that is a large focus of development um, whereas this is more systems going around your character and everything like that so you in this game get more customization um, and especially when it comes to your skills so that's something we'll come back and touch on in a little bit um, but basically if you're you know brand new to this game there uh there can kind of be a lot so a couple of things that i find that i've figured out that have been super super helpful um so if you're doing side quests and everything like that you'll actually see the little icons on here now it'll only let you track on your thing basically two quests at a time one main story quest and then one side quest you can see uh, the yakka's new owner is the side quest that i have up right now um <clears throat> But you can have more than just that one side quest, and it's very cumbersome uh, cumbersome to go into your quests, go into this one, and then switch between them, you know, so that you can track them. Something that's much, 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 much easier is just clicking on the map itself, and you'll actually see not only, you know, the people to talk to, but you'll have, like, the objectives showing on there um, so that you can kind of more quickly track them that way, too, and keep track of your numbers. Um, a lot of times you want to grab all the little side quests and <clears throat> initially the story quests and side quests will all oh talk to one or two people in town and then run out and kill stuff a lot of time there's overlap there so you want to make sure that you know when you're in town you're picking up and talking to everybody that you need to um, i wish i was in a town where i had that up right now but essentially you know i'm standing here in golden waves you would see, you know, a little green um, scroll icon over here if I needed to talk to somebody and another one over here if there was another quest. Um, so using that map can be really effective if you're doing multiple quests at a time. Um, one thing that I kind of want to talk about that I've actually been saving a whole bunch of stuffs for, a um, few things actually. <clears throat> But let's look at skills real quick because the skills aspect of this game is one of the most interesting things and things that has me engaged um, especially coming from playing a lot of Dragon Raja where your class has depending on which one you're playing like four to six moves and then maybe some more cooldowns on top of that if you're lucky um, but there's not those skills themselves don't change there's slight variations with things like talents um and deep talents but nothing super super impactful so if we go in and look at skills here we can see i've got a lot of green little arrows what does that mean patty uh means there's stuff that we can do with these skills essentially um <clears throat> so let me uh let me actually move my camera over real quick so that you can see better what we're uh what we're looking at here what we got what we got what we got 
Your boy's a little sloppy. I do apologize. I do apologize. Are you ready for the flip? All right. That's a little better. <clears throat> All right. So this is uh, this is a really interesting skill system, in my opinion. Not only um, are equipable skills alone, we're looking at quite a few that you can choose from. And I want to say you can have, what, seven on your, on your bar at a time? Hold on. Get off the horse. Uh, six on the bar at, at a time. Okay, so we can have six skills equipped. Um, and these the, these vary a, a fair amount. And not only do we have that many skills, but each skill has the ability to essentially have um, <clears throat> deeper change or like small changes to them and everything. So you're getting almost like a rune system from like Diablo or something like that. Um, so we've got also a couple of different type of books like you might have seen all those books in my bag um, And thought that a lot of them are the same. This is a crash primer neutralizer spiral strike earth rays The books are specific to the skills themselves or this skill upgrade uh, Requirements and everything. That's what some of the like green books are and everything um, <clears throat> So, and you, you just get these from doing the story and stuff. There's nothing extra crazy that I had to do. You just get these over time. It's, again, part of that system where over the first 50 levels or so, um, they're slowly introducing you to all the aspects and all the systems that they have built into the game. So, right now, we don't really have anything super special we can do on this one. Uh, this one, we just have a skill upgrade so that it does a little bit more damage. Okay, okay. Uh, same thing for this one because I think I've unlocked all the all the like additional effects or like just rune pieces. I don't know. Uh, oh, they literally just call them additional effect. Nice. <laughs> okay, so we have one here where we can uh, uh, unlock one, and and this opens up a AOE skills for that move. So we definitely definitely go in for that one. Um, and then we have one for upgrading the skill itself. So you can see that there's different different uses for the books and everything and that's a really interesting skill system to me i haven't um and again i haven't played every single um <clears throat> M uh, mobile mmo that's out there um i've played world of kings when the mobile mmos first started kind of coming out um dragon raja this and then a baby little bit of perfect world um so i'm you know have not touched every single one underneath the sun there's one attack. Where is my just like spinning, spinning, spinning? Do we get AOE on that one yet? Not that one. So I'm not mad at that. Are we going to get some AOE on you? No, not yet. But we do get to unlock the rest of these skills. So this is a really interesting system, in my opinion. Um, as the class that I'm playing, it, I'm seeing that a lot of these open my ability to do more AOE damage with my skills. Um, cause a lot of them are surprisingly single target, even though I'm swinging a giant hammer around. Um, so I'll <clears throat> definitely reserving some opinions until I get further into the game. Um, but I am en enjoying it a good bit. Oh, I'm a little sad. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think this is it. Yeah. Oop. Nope. That's the one we want. I have been waiting because that's a giant whirlwind. Why wasn't that an AOE to start with? <laughs> uh, but it, it's it's an interesting system, and I wanted to save these books and kind of showcase that stuff a little bit um, so that you can see the different ways. that It's not just unlocking new skills, but leveling the skills up, unlocking additional effects for those skills, um, and the fact that you just have so many. So, so many. Ooh. I think, uh, think we'll take for a little bit more crit on that. Thank ya. And we're going to leave the crit boost on that one. All right, all right, all right. Hmm. Yeah, no, we're going to keep that damage in a ranged area. Oop, did I actually equip it? I did. I did. That was sloppy. All right. Woo. Here we get Bella Bath. How you doing? Anything else? Am I missing anything else with this? No. Okay. 
So that that's the skill system or a quick so we'll look into it and how that kind of works if you're a newer player and haven't gotten so far in. Um, I'm actually, if you can see now that I've moved, I am level 54. Your boy been playing this a little bit. Um, well, we got a bunch in on Friday night um, and then a little bit yesterday, but I've been doing uh, some side work this weekend. <sighs> gotta help family, y'all. Gotta help family. Um, so another interesting thing is this um, companion system. So you're essentially just sending these people out on quests, kind of. Um, and the way that I've been prioritizing who I'm sending where is what I need for my crafting professions. Now, I didn't touch crafting professions until like level 40, 50. And I would definitely wait about that long before you start messing with them. Um, because before then, it's not... <clears throat> There's, there's no real strong benefit. And even then, there's an argument that you just go to max level and then go back and knock out professions. Um, but um, I want to test out all the systems. I want to be able to speak on the different parts of the game. So that's why I'm investing a little bit of time on this. But it's a good idea to, you know, keep an eye on the resources that you need. Um, I know personally right now I need as much of this wood as I can. Um, you can click on this, click on location, and then it tells you what zones that they're in. Uh, you would then just go down here, gatherable info, we got the tree we want, and we're going to send our girl out here. Now, can we find another place with the same wood? We can. Oop. Not that. That's another thing. We'll talk about that in a second. All right. So, obviously, uh, our companions have different jobs. Since we only saw two people on that list uh, for being sent out for resources, and then another guy pop out of nowhere. Um, essentially, uh, you can see what kind of drops in a zone, um, and then send a companion to fight that and get, uh, pieces for these guys for research. Um, so it doesn't, <clears throat> that part's not as specific. You're more just trying to find something that your guy is strong enough to go out and do. See, he's, he's too low for this. So I have to go back to the first zone. Oop. And actually this is not the first zone. Well, no, that'll work. That'll work. All right, we can send our boy there. Uh, this, you're really just getting resources. Uh, maybe the best thing you could use this for is trying to get the specific scrolls that you want, but gray scrolls are uh, not worth all that much. Um, how are we doing? on? Okay, we're doing okay on time. Uh, another thing that I want to talk about, because it's going to come up a lot, um, is essentially all the items that you'll get for other stuff. Now... You can use these items to, you know, basically sacrifice um, and unlock some stats for these two things. Um, but you don't get a whole lot for putting actual gear in here. You can see it's a very small amount. Uh, whereas if we use one of these enchanted necklaces, it's, it's a whole bunch for this. So I don't recommend highly using these to just feed into your potential because it's a little bit of a waste. Um, but there is a system where you can essentially turn in gear and when you turn in say like a set you'll get a little bit of a boost in stats um, I think that's a really interesting system uh, that kind of adds a layer to junk items and gives there a little bit of use for picking up all that stuff um, essentially what you would do is be picking up class or equipment for classes that you're not playing because that's usually what I see filling up these lists um, and then just, you know, fill these out. So we've got, uh, I know we have one of these in here. If we level it up to five, we'll get 30 accuracy. So where are you at? Where are you at? You're right here. You're right here. So let's go and advance this guy. We'll use, we've only got three of these scrolls. So we'll bop that up to me. And then use that to go up to me. All right, so now this is level five. And <clears throat> if you're not already sitting good, like if you look at my gear real fast, I already have everything leveled up. I have stuff enchanted. We're in a great place. Like we're not hurting at all. Um, if you are really, really early, I don't recommend even worrying about this. This is again, one of the things that you start to look at once you get into like, you know, the forties to fifties and everything. Um, that's when some of this will become a little bit more important. So we go ahead and register that. Bam, we get a 30 accuracy. We get a little bit of CP. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Um, another thing that we have that I've been kind of saving and holding on to um, is if you see these weird little like gem looking pieces, uh, these are essentially um, demon stones that go around um, 
I don't even know what to call this thing. Um, but you can see these, uh, let's go to one that's not leveled out at all. So you can see none of this is lit up. None of those things are, you know, filled in with stars and there's, uh, the outside is closed in the circle. Um, so <clears throat> you get something called imprint stones. We can see I have quite a few of them. Um, they'll burn through pretty fast, but it'll go through, um, and you can upgrade these individually or just have it go around the circle. Um, each different tier takes a different level of these before they're maxed out. So this uh, specific circle that we're on uh, is level 20 for all the things. Um, but we can see, hold on, chill on that for a second. <clears throat> we can see these things are equipped on the outside. Um, so let's check real quick. This one is a Ruskull. And then we have a Dinkus and a Burkhut. What was that one? Bro cut okay okay so you've got a couple of different of these you can see this is the ruskell one dankus baktar oh i don't even uh have one of those unlocked yet okay i see how it is i see how it is and then you have to either remember which slot it was there we go um, or kind of look around like that so that you can find it. But you can get better versions of these stones and replace them and everything. Um, what was the other one that I had? Hold up. Hold up. All right, bottom quarter, Dankus. Which is second one? Yeah. There we go. Look, it almost looks like we know what we're doing almost um so now that we've got those equipped and everything uh these are also have their own section uh, in the items so that's uh you also want to make sure that you're not feeding one that you're waiting so like i have um one circle uh not which one is it i don't know if it'll even show up here yet since i don't have it unlocked Yeah, the uh, back tar. <clears throat> so you want to make sure that you're not, you know, feeding something that you have in your bags that you just can't use yet. So this is something that I literally just replaced, so I know I'm good for putting it on here. Uh, same thing with this piece, though. I'm going to try for an easier set to complete than that one. There we go. And then this one I'm holding on to still. So they're, they're just a couple of systems to kind of keep in mind as you're going through and playing. Um, another thing that uh, <clears throat> you might be tempted to sit on and not use a whole lot. Nah, spam, use your food all the time. You get so much food all the time. I, uh, I keep them buffs going, you know what I mean? And we've got a few consumables uh, that we can touch on before this gets a little too long. Um... <clears throat> So these, uh, there's a couple of different types. Now there's versions of these where it's just, you, there's no limit to use them. Um, these ones I think are like a login bonus or like something uh, for like the launch of the game. Can't remember where I got these from, but <clears throat> these are the ways that you get mounts, pets, and then companions themselves. And they all have their separate things. And there's different um, types that you can, uh, or like, you know rarity zones <laughs> like this one can be um uh normal to i think rare or and then you've got like say the fine ones and everything where it's only fine and normal pets are what you can pull out of them whereas this one's normal to rare and this one's normal to epic okay i couldn't remember what they uh what names they used for everything all right all right um, you also get armor uh, from quests and uh, from completing certain things and like your missions. So it's all in all, they do a pretty good job of letting you know when and where there's stuff that you need, you need to work on because of all the red flags um, or red little check marks. But it's, it's an interesting, interesting game so far. Let's go ahead and just see if I can uh, get lucky. Give me, give Patty a blue pet. Oh, yep. I right, got one more of them's. One more of them's. 
and it doesn't really matter uh, you can let the animation play out it takes a while to stop you're not really like stopping it on the image that's about to come up it's not like one of those little arcade games um, so that's a little bit troll keep an eye out for that but oh oh come on buddy come on buddy <sighs> get out of here spider nobody wants you um, one thing I will mention to kind of stay away from, um, so combining is a way to try and get something at the same level. So if you're, if you've got a bunch of dupes and you're a completionist and there's one or two things that you think you might, you know, try to get for achievement's sake, uh, you can go for this, but it doesn't actually, um, really benefit you at all. Like, <clears throat> it comes out the same rarity as the other ones. Um, so, yeah, not, not, nothing super in that system. So if you like having a bunch of my amounts, I would hold on to some of them instead of feeding them because they are adorable. Um, <clears throat> but don't expect too, too much from that system. Same thing, uh, with the, pets one or sorry the mounts and pets both have uh, the same thing so if there's something that you don't have that's at the same level and you have a couple of those dupes you can try that but there's not really a whole lot else here so <clears throat> i know i fed a bunch of stuff trying to see what was going on with that system and it really doesn't appear to be much so i would save your time and money if i was you not that it really makes too big of a difference um, cause you only get stats from actually using them. Some, I think pets, maybe you, uh, you get a bonus for owning them. Um, but yeah, you, I'm also fairly positive. You can only do it with dupes. So you're not going to like accidentally feed and lose uh CP from it, but just don't expect a whole lot from that system. There's not, a, not a lot happening there. Um, so let me know if there's any like specific questions that you guys have uh, that you're finding when you're playing v4 um, Over this next week. I'm gonna try to put some guides together for stuff um, Obviously still only a couple of days into playing the game myself, so I'm still figuring things out But we'll uh, we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Let me know if you have any questions. All right guys I appreciate your face. Thank you so much for stopping by today It's been your boy patty and uh, we out of here deuces